its first versus seventh and a repeat of the clash back in November that saw the Pirates prevail at McMullen Park. Let's uh, have a look at the team, starting with the home side, who have made eight changes from that previous encounter with Bedford. Lots of reshuffling sees the inclusion of a familiar surname. Jordan Brown's brother, Brad, lines up against him this evening. For uh, Rail Bedford, the sails are still set into a strong wind coming off the back of a 13-0 Cup thrashing at Caddington on Saturday. The only changes from that team see Matt Clifford swap with Classen Gordon and the Duckett brothers change places. McGrath and Knight look to strengthen a now flourishing midfield combination, leaving Corbett to make an impact off the bench. Donning the headband, Evan Jekylls will clear Knight with the collision and goes down the line from Clifford. This will work out nicely for Brown. Jekylls has come out, so it's going to Calls for him to play the ball in. Walker sets it up. Hitchcock! Right from the off. Real Bedford get themselves on the score sheet. Jordan Brown with a teasing ball into the box. Laid off by Walker. Hitchcock does what he does best on his return to league action. Tom Hitchcock gets a goal. Hartley all the way over brown he's gonna be able to track this one down jordan brown back into the middle oh well that was brad brown who got a touch on that one might have just been in their back garden yeah that was uh that was close hitchcock then down the line walker's gonna stretch his legs stan walker into the middle jordan brown is there inches away he'll be scratching his head as to how he didn't find the back of the net there second highest goal scorer but can he be the creator here flicked on and forces a very strong save out of tyler mcgregor sprung at it like a cat excellent work he might be used again here all falls past everyone as james mccabe's effort goes wide but that from tyler mcgregor was enigmatic And thereafter because then it'd be caught up in the highlights and well it'd just be very random out of context these are things that you have to deal with as a commentator but for you this, these are exclusives oh and right off the crossbar from stockwell the fingertips of mcgregor once again preventing eaton soken from causing damage night doesn't seem to be phased by that face for the ball he just got and instead brown is putting on the afterburners is he brought down yes he is whistle goes penalty given Michael gershik not having any of that morris just clumsy on jordan brown can't be doing that Knight steps back to step up. Luke Knight, cool as you like. Easy does it. Calmly slotted into the back of the net, assisted by Brown hitting the deck. Tucked up for night time, it really was. Luke Knight with his sixth goal. It decides against using the touchline. Walker over the top. Now duck it once more. Walker! That's sublime. Superb interplay. Walker, Hitchcock, duck it. You name it, they were involved. Lovely ball over the top there. Duck it. Plays it back in. And that's such a calm finish. Keeper arguably should be doing better. Dan Walker. Owusu Walker again. See that ball bouncing up and down. Standing over it is Luke Knight. Ball swung in, Woods. He knows that could have been. 
his second goal in as many games for the club. Hartley, Duckett, Walker, Gordon, everybody. Here's Walker. That's a lovely ball in. Clifford once again on the back post. Can he make a man? Hits the crossbar. This was the chance for Matt Clifford. There it is. Full time whistle sounds in what is a stop start affair here in Cambridgeshire. But nevertheless, Rail Bedford come out with three goals, three points. And now trundle back down south with their heads held high. Final score here at Eaton Socon Sports Association ground. Eaton Socon nil. Rail Bedford three.